Hello students, welcome back in our third standard GK session. Students, in the last session we have learned handicrafts of India and other countries. Okay, so today we are revising but before that I will tell you uh, there are uh, exam from the next week. Correct? So we are revising whatever lessons we have learned. Till now we have learned uh, till page number 13. So five lessons are there until page number 13 and that all are there for exam. So how the uh, questions will come that we'll uh, see in this revision. Okay. So see question number one fill in the blanks. A group of dash is called a gaggle. So its answer is Geese. G double E S E. All the spellings you have to learn properly. Okay. Next one. The dash is the national bird of India. And you know it. Peacock. P E A C O C K. Peacock is the national bird of India. We'll see the next one. The dash is a Pink bird with long legs. Its answer is flamingo. Right? F L A M I N G O. Flamingo. Next one we'll see. The spines on the cactus are actually its dash. So answer is leaves. L E A. V E S. The fifth one, the cactus often has a dash covering. So its answer is waxy. W A X Y. See question number two, match the following. Your description is given, you have to match it with the right side. Okay. So the bird. That sings powerful and beautiful song. So, the answer is Nightingale. So, you have to match it like this way. Take a pencil in your hand with the scale. You have to match it. Okay. Next, bird named after the island where it found. So, its answer is Canary. Matched. Next, bird that makes loud tapping sounds on tree. That is woodpecker. Match it. Students, we have less number of time. So, what uh, I am taking little uh, less examples of this. So, you have to do it properly. Okay. See question number three. Write the missing letters. See W A dash dash H O dash. So it is Watto. W A R T H O G. Watto. Next third uh, second one dash P dash dash I. Da A C dash N. So it's Pelican. P E L I C A N. Pelican. Next T dash U dash dash N. So it's Chokan. T O U C A N. Let's see next number. L dash dash E W O dash dash. So it's less work. The L A C E W O R K. Less work. Next fifth one. B dash T dash K W dash dash K. So, it's Batik work. B-A-T-I-K. 
आई के डब्ल्यू ओ आर के बाटिक वर्ब एंड द लास्ट वन एम ए डैश डैश वाई ओ डैश डैश के ए डी डैश डैश एल एस सो इट्स मैट्रियोशका डॉल सो एम ए टी आर वाई ओ एस एच के ए डी ओ डबल एल एस मैट्रियोशका डॉल विल सी द नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर नेम द following with given clue clues are given and we have to find out its name they are delicate and beautiful sea creatures with tentacles so answer of this is jellyfish j e b l l y f i s h jelly fish we'll see the next one almost all parts of this tropical tree are of use to humans so the answer of this is banana tree b a n a n a t r w e banana tree next one third bendable materials like grass stems and straw are woven together to form mats and vessels so answer of this is basket weaving b a s k e t W E A V I N G basket weaving. Fourth one we'll see a style of embroidery from Lucknow, usually done with soft colors on light fabric. So answer of this is chicken work. C H I K A N W O R K chicken work and the last one we'll see this tree is mostly grown for its beautiful bright blossoms so answer of this is japanese J A P A n e s e japanese cherry c h e double r y japanese cherry so students i will not think that will get more time so best of luck for your exam and learn all the spellings well and all five chapter you have to learn it properly so bye bye students we'll see we'll see in the next session after the exam bye bye all of you